What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Adidas Addy Zero 12.0. All right, guys, so here they are. These are the brand new Adidas Addy Zero 12.0 sent over from our good friends over at eBay. Let's take a look at the box. You have the black Adidas box here. Take a look at the tag. Just says Addy Zero, and then we've got a really unique colorway. Let's open the box. Guys, I just want to take a quick second away from the video and let you know how you can get access to all these videos up to a month early. You see, when we create videos, we'll actually make around four or five at a time, and then we'll schedule them to release on YouTube once a week every Monday. But if you're a YouTube member, you actually get all these videos as soon as they release. Now with the YouTube membership, you'll get tons of benefits like custom badges when you comment on our videos, all of our videos early, polls and posts asking for feedback on all of our upcoming projects, and you'll also get bigger discounts on stuff like our merchandise and shock visors. If you want to become a member, all you have to do is hit that join button or click one of the first links in the description down below. All right, back to the video. This colorway is insane, guys. Just, just a little bit of a warning, a little heat warning here. Check these out, guys. This color is absolutely crazy. The bottom. I don't even know, bro, it's crazy. All right, guys, so here are the cleats. I have not seen them, have not tested them out yet. This is my first look, first impression. First thing I wanna talk about is the design. These are a little bit different um, from last year's 12 point in a couple different ways. The first way that I noticed right away is that this tongue is not connected to the upper as it was on this one. This one was just kind of one full piece all around. Uh, this one seems to have the upper and then kind of like an inner booty thing that's gonna hug your foot. Not really sure how that works quite yet. Um, but the material on the top is a lot thinner, I think, um, than the material on the last model. These ones were a little bit heavier, and hopefully Adidas has reclaimed their throne as the lightest cleat in football. We'll see. Colorway is absolutely insane. It does look like this is Velcro, which is pretty sick. And I'm pretty sure I spotted, I did, um, but we do have a little packet, and I can only imagine there are more of these little guys in there. So let's pop this open. Oh yeah, there they are. All right, so we got a couple different options here. I kind of like this little green slime guy, that purple devil emoji. You guys know what it is. Hard eyes one, a little ice diamond one, whatever you guys want to call that. And then we have the old laughing crying face. And then the one on here is like a fire. Um, let it focus. It's like a fire one. So check it out, guys. They do come off. I'm going to put on the fire and ice one because that's, that's kind of cold, um, literally. So on the upper, you do have this kind of textured pattern here, kind of like a design. Uh, pattern here. It does look like it's seen, the seam is right here down the center of the cleat. Um, this model does have these insane iridescent stripes. Look at the color change on that. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, look at this heel tab. We've got all the little emojis on this heel tab. That's pretty cool. We don't have the swearing one, but here it is, guys. There's the swearing one. That's pretty clean. Pretty cool cleat. Um, it does feel pretty lightweight. They don't have any paper in them. Um, laces are black with a little you know, gray speckle, nothing too fancy. You do have kind of a, a glittery effect on the, uh, whatever you want to call this, like the center lace loops. So like I already mentioned a little bit, this upper, this outer material is like a, a really thin TPU. You can actually see through it. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see, but you can actually see through it. So it's super thin and then it has kind of this inside, um, looks like it's a really breathable cuff that's going to hug your foot, hopefully. Got to test them out still. Um, you guys can kind of see what's inside there. Let's take a look at the insole. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the same insole as last year, and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so yeah, here is the insole. This is the Addy Zero insole. It's super soft, super cushy. It does have the little outline of the foot on the bottom, which is really cool. Looks like we got nothing really special underneath. It looks like this year's model has the exact same uh, heel cup as the last one, which is going to be really good and really going to help secure the back of your foot so it doesn't come slip out of the cleat, which is always nice. Green is super bright, which kind of leads me to talk about this insane rainbow traction plate. You got the green, then the orange, then the pink, then the blue. This is the same traction plate as last year, as I might have mentioned earlier. Um, they finally, last year, upgraded to the sharp triangle studs, kind of like Nike's been doing. Traction on these has been loads better than the past models. I do have a pair. These are the Bape Addy Zero 8.0s, and that is the old traction plate. Um, just a bunch of circle studs. But the triangle studs, man, these really dig into the dirt. Um, and then they've got some of those little intermediate studs as well. Something I always like to check on these cleats is the flexibility and they're pretty flexible on um, the material. The upper seems pretty malleable. This, this thing, this tongue is obviously super thin mesh. It's going to be really breathable for you guys. Obviously we got some solid padding in the heel. Nothing too crazy. Adidas Addy Zeros are usually built kind of like a track spike, which explain, explains the low cut, sharp studs, lightweight cleat. 
When we review these cleats, there's a couple different things we like to look at for you guys. The first thing is gonna be the comfort, then the fit and support. We're gonna check out the weight of the cleat. We're gonna take a look at the traction plate. We're gonna take a look at the style, what positions this cleat is best for, and finally, the price. First thing we're gonna talk about is the comfort. Honestly, the comfort on these was not all that great, probably due to the lack of padding and the super thin upper. With Adidas Addy Zeros, every single year, these cleats are the closest thing you can get to a track spike on the football field, so it doesn't really come as a surprise that there's not a lot of padding, not a lot of support in these cleats. You guys are gonna get a little bit of support and padding in the heel. There's a little bit of foam in there, um, and that's really the only type of padding you're gonna get with this cleat. Also, these do have a nice cushiony insole. I'm pretty sure this is the same insole as last year, um, but it's a nice foam material, feels pretty thick. It's gonna help absorb some of that force when you step. New for this year, this cleat does have this kind of inner booty thing beneath the TPU upper. Um, it's super thin, so it's not gonna give you a lot of cushioning, but it does breathe very well, so that's gonna keep your feet pretty cool. Not only do you get air through that booty, this upper is actually pretty thin as well. You can actually see through it in some spots. So you're gonna get some air through there as well. Overall, like I said, guys, these are built like a track spike, so they're not the most comfortable thing in the world, but they do score pretty well in the categories we're gonna talk about next. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the fit and support of this cleat. This cleat fits really tight. As you guys saw in the unboxing, I did get these in my normal size, but they were super tight, super narrow, and the toe box felt really crowded. If you guys are the kind of guy that likes the cleat to be super tight and kind of feel like a part of their foot, then this cleat is for you. You guys are gonna love this. But me personally, I like to have a little bit of room for my toes to breathe, so I wasn't a huge fan of how this fit. It's just really tight. The upper on these is super thin, but you guys are gonna get some of that lockdown fit and support in the heel because it has that nice, strong heel cup. Overall, these are a very tight fitting football cleat with very minimal support all around. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the weight of the cleat. The Adidas Addy Zero line over the years has been called the lightest cleat in football. This year, this cleat is 9.9 .9 ounces, which is a little bit lighter than last year's, but it is not the lightest cleat in football. That title belongs to the Under Armour Blur Smoke, which is I think 8.7 ounces. 9.9 .9 ounces is still extremely light for a football cleat. Definitely one of the lightest cleats in the game, but it is not the lightest. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the traction on these. These have the exact same traction plate as the last year's model, and this is the best traction plate Adidas has to offer. This traction plate has 11 sharp triangle studs. You've got four in the rear, seven in the front, and then you also have some nice intermediate traction in the middle of the traction plate. If you guys watched last year's review on the Adidas Addy Zero 11.0, you guys know I am a huge fan of this traction plate. I was so excited when they switched from the circle studs to the triangle studs. These just dig into the ground so much more and allow you to cut effortlessly. For pure straight line speed, these are the best option on the market. I was running some sprints and you can just really feel those teeth going to work in the grass. But I'd say for cutting the uh, Nike Edge traction plate, which is up here, um, is still gonna be a little bit better in my opinion. Unfortunately, during the testing process, some of these kind of intermediate teeth on the inside did break, which was really disappointing to see. Um, kind of gives me some concerns about the durability of this cleat. Um, so yeah, it's really unfortunate to see them actually break after 30, 45 minutes of wear. Overall, this is an excellent traction plate. It's gonna be good on turf and grass. It digs into the ground really well, but I do worry a little bit about the durability since some of these spikes did break. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the style of these cleats. These things, like most Adidas Addy Zeros, look pretty fly. The colorway that I have here is their Big Mood colorway, and this colorway is absolutely ridiculous. As you guys saw in the boxing, you've got the iridescent stripes, you've got the rainbow traction plate, and then the Velcro emojis that you can put on the tongue, switch them out. Uh, just a really cool customizable pair of cleats. Also, these plastic lines overlay on the upper are pretty cool. And then the Addy Zero on the inside is pretty nice as well. Super subtle, black on black. But you guys, it looks pretty cool. As of right now, as I film this on June 7th, 2022, there are just not a lot of colorways available. But every single year, Adidas drops so many different designs and colorways. So I'm sure there's more on the way. Um, but right now, I think it's just this and then maybe a green pair and then a white and gold pair um, available on East Bay. Next thing I wanna talk about is what cleat this cleat is built for. This is a skill football cleat through and through. It's lightweight, low cut, with a traction plate built for straight line speed and agile cuts. That means this cleat is built for QBs, running backs, wide receivers, and defensive backs. Linebackers, tight ends, if you guys do wanna wear this, you could, but you're not gonna get a lot of angle support, so definitely be careful. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the price of these cleats, and these cleats are gonna retail for $130, which is $10 more than last year's model, but it seems the price of everything football equipment related is kinda of going up. I'd say 130 is a pretty normal price for a pair of cleats like this. I do worry a little bit about the durability. The upper seems pretty solid, but I did have one of those uh, inner teeth break off, so I'm a little bit concerned about the durability of the traction plate. And then, of course, this chrome finish that you guys see here, um, it's already starting to wear, so that's going to wear off really quick as well.
there you guys have it. There's a full unboxing and review on the Adidas Adi Zero 12.0. If you guys have already tried these cleats out, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Footballers.